I have not seen Leatherface, and I think he's such a big secret because he's gonna be incredibly terrifying to see him for the first time. I'm really excited that we're doing it that way. He looks different a little bit. I just don't think that we want anyone else to see what he looks like, so they're just as terrified as we will be the first time seeing him. I'd seen the first one, the original, and it's incredibly disturbing, and I love that <laughs> about movies. Also, I'm a huge horror fan, and I've always wanted to do a horror film, and this was just the most perfect opportunity. I watched some of my favorite horror films, just to uh, kind of get a feeling of what makes them great, what makes them scary. I love The Shining, I watched The Shining, and I did a lot of exercising, because <laughs> I have to run a lot. <laughs> It's really going to be like no other horror film. I think it's really going to stand out, and it's it's not just a slasher film. It's not just a suspense. It has so many really cool things that I think are just going to make it just stand out from all the other ones. I actually looked up on the internet about Ed Gain. I wanted to know about his life. I wanted to know what kind of person he was and really what happened to him. How did this person spawn all these ideas for different horror films? I kind of found out about his life story, and it's incredibly sad and incredibly terrible and horrifying in so many different ways. There's so much action going on and so many stunts. I've always wanted to do stunts. <laughs> I don't have a stunt double. I'd do it all. <laughs> this is kind of a dream come true, sort of. I know that sounds so cheesy, but I really always wanted to uh, be kind of like an action star. <laughs> She's definitely kind of the take charge character when things start to go a little wrong. She kind of takes charge and gets people to calm down in the situation and kind of keeps, keeps the group together, or at least keeps a couple people together. Pepper, I need you to hold that light really steady. Can you do that? This house is really creepy. No one's lived here for something like 40 years and everyone left their stuff here. So when we came in, there was just stuff from the early 1900s laying around. It was amazing. Skeleton keys and old wallets and bank statements and clothes and wedding dresses. It was really cool, but creepy. It's, it's really creepy. These locations are, they're the real thing. There's no sets here. And that makes it especially scary. So come prepared to be frightened to death.